Hey, Nomus RC. So I crashed my quad in a video that I have on my page um, fairly decently. It bent a bunch of props that I kind of bent back, but they don't they don't fly quite right. So I dented the can of the motor when it hit the ground right there, and it makes it scrape on the inside, so it catches, um, and it made the motor get really really hot. So time for an upgrade. So we got e Eco 2 Emax motors. Uh, these were a 2306. This is a 2807. 2806.5 is normally on 7 inches. Uh, these were 2306.5. Uh, and that refers to the millimeter diameter and thickness um, of the motor. Just like, uh, let's say, in a, in a truck. My Creighton has a 4092 in it, so that's 40 millimeter around, 92 millimeters long. Generally, that's how everybody uh, rates their motors, so it's kind of nice. You can, it's pretty much just go by size. The bigger the magnets, the more power. Um, but anyway, like I said, though, these are running fine on 7 inches. Uh, this has got a BL Heli uh, ESC in it, 50 amp per channel. More than enough. A 200 amp total. That's more than enough for these motors right here. It's actually, these are, to be honest, kind of uh, underpowered for this quad. They performed well, but this will be, this will match what most people have. All right, well, let's get them uh, soldered in and uh, see how it goes. It's just uh, six screws, two there, two there, and two there. And then you can get the top plate off. Um, the air unit is attached upside down on this. The thing that I really like about this GIP RC is your stack is not a stack, so cooling is really good. And then this air unit sits in between them, so it doesn't really put a lot of heat on them, and they don't put a lot of heat on it. I really like the layout of this uh, frame. It's really, really good. All right, so what I think that I'm going to do, because I have... Or should have, yeah, I do. A lot of extra three millimeter or three and a half millimeter bullet connectors. I think I'm going to equip all of these with bullet connectors. The reason that I'm going to do that, number one, I don't care about weight. It's not going to add that much. But I'm not racing this quad. But the bigger advantage is once I solder them onto here, if I get a motor wire backwards, I'm going to have to desolder it, resolder them. So. If I can just put bullets on here, and plus, again, if I mess up a motor, then I can just swap it out easy without having to solder. So, I'm going to put some bullet connectors. Uh, be right back. Well, it took me a bit longer than I had anticipated, but that's kind of the way with these things. So, again, I did bullet connectors on all the motors. It just makes me feel a little bit nicer that I can swap them out easier, even though I understand I would still have to solder bullets onto the new motor. I just like it. Um, anyway, so if we wanted to do a comparison here, that's the size difference in motor. It is a lot bigger. <laughs> but these are what most people run on their 7-inch quads. So, um, And I did notice it was underpowered. And again, the ESC is a 50 amp times four, and these things were probably drawing maybe, you know, peak 20, 25 a piece. So plenty of room left, but she's up and running. Disarmed. And uh, maybe tomorrow after work, I'll try it out, but uh, for sure this weekend, we should be good. And I'm probably not gonna take near as many chances as I did before. Uh, unless I'm way up in the air. Not doing anything crazy near the ground again for a while. Alright guys, as always, if you got any questions, you want something uh, super technical put out, I can do that for you. 